Greetings everyone, Sarah here, your favorite signing agent newbie. And tonight, uh, we'll be taking my NNA exam together so I can do my recertification to be a loan signing agent. Uh, we do have to do this every year. My background screening came back tonight. It took about four days. And um, now I just have to take my exam. Um, if you're just getting started, um, I would suggest either the complete or the basic. It's up to you. But um, the more information, the better. Um, but since I'm recertifying, I'm just going to do the background check, get the priority listing, and take the exam. And you can take it with me. So I'm going to go ahead and launch. All right, we're going to start a new session. Now, in, uh, to take the test, you will need the, and let me go back to the top, the Notary Signing Agent Code of Conduct Signing Professionals Road Group Booklet. And it's pinned at the top inside of our group, North NC Signing Agent Newbie Network. And, um, yeah. You will need this. And it actually goes over like definitions, guiding principles, notarization, qualifications, impartiality, things of that nature. Not so much as loan documents themselves. Okay. It's just how do you handle a closing? So don't be afraid to take the test. It's about 45 questions. You can take it an unlimited amount of times. Um, so don't worry. All right, so this is also the same booklet right beforehand, and you have the printable version there, but I already have it, so we got to go all the way down, and you have to accept. So you can read all of this, and then you accept. And then we're going to go ahead and get to the, um, and they also have the signing script here as well. All right. So we're going to begin. All right. Select the best answer. And let me get a little vibe on because I don't want to hear I'm all that in the background. Okay. All right. Select the best answer. A notary signing agent, ha agent has been providing signing services with no incidents over 10 years without having undergoing a background screening. Therefore, he or she must still arrange to obtain and pass a background screening. Does it need to pass a background screening because he or she has been grandfathered in, can continue to work as long as he or she obtains a screening within the next 18 months? That is a requirement, so I would say they must arrange to obtain it, like ASAP. All right, a notary signing agent with nearly 10 years experience has reviewed and completely familiar with all documents in a loan package. When meeting the borrower, the notary signing agent may now rearrange the documents into the order that best suits the specific assignments, advise the borrower how the specific documents might affect their future contract, present and state the general purpose of each document and how they must be signed. And I'm going to go with C, present and state. Select the best answer. Why should a notary signing agent learn about closing documents in a loan package if they are not allowed to provide advice or counsel? It is re it is required by state regulations to demonstrate the con to contracting companies that the notary signing agent is competent to oversee a signing appointment, they could be held liable if they incorrectly explain a document. The reason I think, and I'm going to choose B, is because if someone asks, well, where do I find um, my first payment or my interest rate? Where where the money to close? Okay. Hold on for a second. Select the best answer. 
A notary signing agent consistently follows the practice of obtaining borrowed thumbprints in his and her journal, but is commissioned in a state that does not require journal thumbprints. A borrower has com complied with all the other notarization requirements, but objects to leaving their thumbprint in the journal. What should a notary signing agent do? Do you perform the notarizations? Do you insist the borrower leaving a thumbprint in the journal? or refuse to perform the notarizations. If it's not required by your state, you know, I wouldn't insist that they do it. And it wouldn't, um, and if the thumbprint doesn't matter, it definitely is not gonna stop me. So I'm gonna perform the notarizations. All right, select the best answer. The notarial evidence form is completed by the closing agent, but kept by the notary signing agent. The bars and kept by the notary signing agent as a record, the notary signing agent and return to the contracting company. Okay, so we're gonna find out what notarial evidence is. So let's go back to our uh, book. And that's why you need it, because you just wanna be sure. The notarial evidence form. That's number four. Let's see what that's talking about. And let's simmer it down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Page four. Notorious evidence for me, the record of notarizations performed in a transaction involving the purchase, sale, and finances of the real estate is completed by a notary signing agent and retained by the lender or closing agent. All righty. I knew it. The notary signing agent and returned to the contracting company. These two was wrong because we don't keep nothing. We give it all. Okay. Select the best answer. Notorious cert certificates on loan documents may com be completed before the signing appointment must be completed in the presence of the bar, can be pre or post dated if needed. Which I think, I say, we do it, my bad, in the presence of the bar. When we do the certificates, we stamp it sign in their face. During a signing appointment, a borrower asks the notary signing agent if his loan rate is competitive. How should the NSA, res NSA respond? Check the internet for competitive rates in order to provide the best answer. Honestly, share that the notary signing agent's experience is too limited to answer the question. Explain to the borrower that a notary signing agent is not permitted to discuss loan rates. So I am going to go with C. Because who going to get on their phone and try to, that's doing way too much because you don't even work for that company. And um, my experience is too limited. No, I'm, I'm not permitted to discuss loan rates. Select the best answer. A notary signing agent regularly records all notary acts performed by, at a closing in a journal. This is considered a practice prohibited by the code of conduct, a practice required by the code of conduct, a practice Prohibited by federal law. I say it's required. Now, let me see. Because every time you notarize something, it's supposed to go in your journal. But we just want to make sure. Let's see. All right. They had something here about the journal. Hold on one second. Hold on, I seen something with journal on it. Presentation, signing services, clothing documents, notary journal, editorial X. We're gonna go to page eight. We wanna make sure. Lock and secure. Don't wanna have present or use them. He's recorded by law. All right. Well, I'm going with, again, this is me. I'm going with, is a required practice. 
I don't think it's prohibited. Select the best, because I get all signatures. Select the best answer. A bar expresses the reluctance to continue to sign a document. The notary might say, recommend a bar contact the lender's representative immediately before the signing. Any more documents suggest that the bar continues. And because it's a three-day recession, recommend a bar sign documents now and cancel within three days. I always tell them to call their lender immediately so we can work that out. Period. Point blank. A bar expresses concerns that once he signs a document, he'll be stuck with a second mortgage. A good response of notary will be recommend a bar sign documents now and cast along within three days. If he's still concerned, suggest the bar stop, take a few days to reconsider, <laughs> reconvene once the bar feels more comfortable, recommend a bar contact his lender representative and provide a phone number. And that's what I would do because it's not my beeswax. Select the best answer. Explain to the bar the fees that may make up an annual percentage rate of the bar loan is encouraged. Um, encouraged in <clears throat> order to provide superior customer service, prohibited under all circumstances, level of expertise, permissible if the um, notary agent knows the breakdown of the fees, which I think. I know what I think. I'm going to double check, though. All right, Let's see. All right, personal opinion. I was looking at the answer. Hold on. Could I explain the signing solely responsible by signing loan terms. The notary agent may identify and provide a general description of a loan, payment amount, interest rate, annual percentage rate, finance charge, payment schedule, assumption options, prepayment penalty, or any other loan terms to the bar at the closing documents, but may not explain, interpret, or provide legal advice about the loan terms. So there you go. That's what I thought. You know, you're doing good customer service. You may identify it. Explain it to the bar. Um, we don't explain though, right? See, this is the word that begin us. We may identify. Explain it to a borrower that the the fees that make up the annual percentage rate of the bar. I think it's permissible. What y'all think? That's what they say. I can do a general description. No, nah, I can't explain it. We're going to say no. Next. Let's see if we get it right or wrong. <laughs> so, like the best answer, a bar questions the amount of the notary signing fee appearing in the settlement statement. The notary signing agent should offer to call the closing agent and explain the fee. Explain to the bar that the fee is split between the notary and the contracting company. Explain that the notary signing agent isn't responsible for the amount of the fee appearing in the settlement statement. And that would be C because, baby, they probably is not paying me the full amount anyway. They stop putting it in there most of the time. Select the best answer. The best way to address borrower's questions that the notary signing agent is not allowed to answer is to arrange to have the contracting company on the phone to answer questions as they come up, halt the sign into the borrowers, get the answers what you want, make a list of questions um, to ask the contracting company before the end of the signing. So what y'all do? The best way to address a bar's questions. Let's see about arranging. Let's see. They got some about questions. Let's look at the absence sign. We're going to say questions. Long term. Let's present documents. May respond to sign specifically by directing an individual to critical close documents. I've been in that same. 
the, that may answer the questions by referring to individually lender representative or closing agent associated with the transactions. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's see what we're saying right here. I ready to have the contact with Jeffrey on the phone and ask questions as they come up. Well, we can do that. I put halt the sign into the bar gets the answers. Next. Select the best answer. One of the parties at the signing appointment asks a question regarding the first payment date. How should a notary respond? Read the section of the appropriate document out loud to all attendees to check for understanding. Direct the parties to read the information in the appointment document. Offer a brief explanation of the information in the section of the document it comes from. Um, I'll go with A. I'll read the section. The information in the section of the document it comes from. No, I'm going with C. Offer a brief explanation of that information because I sure do. Your first payment date will be December 1st, 2022. Here's a breakdown of your payment. Sure do. Select the best answer. A bar asks the notary signing agent for the contact information for the closing agent and lender's representative. The notary signing agent should supply by explaining the bar that he is not permitted to provide that information. Provide what? Provide the borrower with the information for both contacts, offering the borrower the closing agent's information only. Um, let's see. What y'all think? Providing information. The notary sign agent will provide the borrower with the contact information within this representative closing agent. Yep, I knew it. Select the best answer. A notary signing agent is asked to describe several of the loan terms at the signing appointment. The notary signing agent may offer information based on the experience, provide only a general description of loan terms, indicate where the documents information may be found, explain the terms um, of the borrower's loan. Describe the terms. Explain the terms. See? Ask to describe, you know, general description. Hmm, let's see. Do they got that in there? Contact sources. Will not advise sign appointment with verbal written consent. Hmm. Provide general description, payment interest rate. I'm going with um I'm going with general description, man. Select the best answer. If during the signing appointment the borrower divulges the property is financed, is an investment property while the loan papers indicate that it's a primary residence, the notary agent should complete the signing signing appointment and inform the closing. Explain the closing agent for the transaction needed to be contacted before resuming the signing. Immediately halt the signing and return the documents to lender. We're going with A because I'm going to close it regardless. You know, I don't know. He might be talking too much. Y'all, maybe I don't need to know that. Again, I stay in my lane. So let's the best answer. I'll make a note of it, though. The notary signing agent has commenced loan a loan signing with the borrower and a mortgage broker. The mortgage broker asks to speak in private with the borrower for a few minutes. The notary signing agent returns to find the mortgage broker alone and all the documents signed. The notary signing agent should take the loan package and call the closing agent for the transaction to report the incident. Leave a completed package with the loan broker who says, I'll handle it from here. Thanks to mortgage bro- broker for expediting the process. I'm, I'm taking it. And I'm giving it back and letting them know what happened because I can't notarize that if I didn't see them sign, period, point blank, because I'm not. They're not there, and if I didn't see it, no, thank you. Select the best answer. If the mortgage deed trust contains a phrase, see the exhibit A. In the section containing properties legal deception, exhibit A must be present, must be notarized, must be added to the document before it is recorded. I don't know. I think it's um A, though. I'm going to put A must be present because they want to see it. So, let's just give me a second. Um, 
Oh no, false document. I don't know. Let's see. I better I better go ahead and um potential accident misrepresentation. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. No disclosure. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going with it must exhibit A. Not a lot of requests, return of payments, unprotected network. Okay, we're going with that. <laughs> A, it must be present because they want to see it. Uh, select, and, that is, and it's always there when I see it, so I just think it's supposed to be. Acme Direct Fund and Loan Package contains an additional acknowledgement certificate with instructions for the notary sign agent to sign and affix a seal impression and return a certificate for the documents. Which one is the best course of action? Sign, seal, and return additional certificate. Refuse to sign the seal of certificate, the additional sign, seal, and photocopy. What you think? Let's see. Let's see. Return documents. I just seen that too. Hold on. For the corporate law enforcement, no, we know that. I just seen that extra certificate will not comply to request for lenders' representation, contracting company, or closing agent mail, sign, seal, notary certificates not securely attached to the actual. So, no, we will not comply with that. Extra certificate is a no bueno. So, put that as B. Select the best to answer the lender's representative, representative calls the notary signing agent prior to the assignment that afternoon to inform the agent that the borrower will be represented by attorney. In fact, this is considered permissible as long as it's approved in writing, acceptable, and the agent may commence the signing appointment. Unacceptable, the borrower must be president. I would say permissible as long as the approval is in writing, but we want to make sure. Will not commence the appointment if I attorney in fact for an absent principal unless specifically approved by the lender's representative or closing agent. So, um, per, yep, permissible as long as it's in writing. All right. So, next. Select the best answer. A borrower is asked to notice sign it to email him copies of loan documents. How should the NSA respond? Refuse to email the documents to notify the contracting company or closing agent for the request. Email documents because it's both permitted and good customer service. Email the documents, but keep in mind that they are only permitted to send one copy. We do not send nothing over email. That is not for us. We print out two copies and we give them a physical copy. And matter of fact, you get a copy from me. It's, it's packaged really nice. And you can put it up and you can find it wherever you need it. And it's set up nicely too. Select the best answer. Which of the following parties is permitted to view all entries in the notary signing agent notary journal? Contracting companies, borrowers, police with a warrant. Popo got to come with them papers because they're the only people that's going to be able to see it. A notary signing agent is running behind schedule, does not want to be late for an assignment. The agent spouse volunteers to download and print the documents for closing documents. Print copies of the closing documents. How should a notary agent respond? Thank the spouse for the offer, but explain that it's not allowed. Take the spouse up to the office. Offer says it's more important for the agent to be on time. Ensure that no one but the spouse will see the printed copies of the closing documents. We're going to practice uh, safety first. <laughs> and nobody is allowed. They got references here. Wow. You know what? We way in and we just figuring that out. Somebody better have put that in the comment section early before you. <laughs> so you go to the reference. There we go. Oh, let's check it out. Page 6.5. 
Notice I ain't able to personally download or print out documents not assigned responsible to another person. Boom. See that? Look at that. Look at God. You, if you fail this, <laughs> they keep they key, they answer, baby. Select the best answer. Notary side of agent shows up. I'm sorry I'm just late doing this, but I'm, you know, I know me passing one time. A notary sign agent shows up to an assignment only to discover it's been rescheduled at the last minute for the following day. What is the agent required to do with the documents? Leave them with the bar for the next day's appointment. Store them in a secure location until the next, until the new signing appointment. Contact the closing agent and request permission to hold them until the next day. I would say shred them because they're date sensitive, but we going to see. What's the reference? 6-9, okay. 6-9 in the building. Return of documents. The notice signage will return all executed and unexecuted documents in compliance with instructions from the contracting company or closing agent for the transaction in the event the assignment is postponed or canceled. So we got to contact the company. So we're going to contact the company. Hold on for a second. That's my little sugar bear. His birthday is uh, Sunday. So he'll be four years old. Can't believe it. Wow. Okay, next. The SPW's code of conduct strictly prohibit, prohibits notary signing agents from receiving a fee for providing signing services in connection with the transaction collecting a signing fee from the signer in the event the contracted company fails to pay, attempting to collect on a non-paying account from the contracting company. First of all, if you're running up on somebody's house because you ain't get paid, that's a no-no. But we're going to make sure we're going to 7A. I like this name. I'm going to make sure I get it right. The notary agent will not attempt to collect a signing fee for the signing of the fee. <laughs> I'm just saying that. That's common sense. If you go to eight, I did this for you, <laughs> baby. I just, I get a visual, you know. Select the best answer. While on the way to a sign appointment, a notary realizes the location is outside of normal territory and he should have negotiated a higher charge fee. The most appropriate action the ESA should take is to complete the assignment and ask for a travel fee for the next signing in this area. Immediately contact the closing agent, explain the situation, negotiate a higher fee for the extra travel. Contact the contracting company and refuse to complete the assignment you tell me what you do <laughs> we we going we going we going to go with a and i'll tell you why i'm going with a after we look at the reference and it'll be 82 i like this i should have did this from the beginning y'all okay 82 false or misleading claims the notary agent will not make what exaggerated or excessive claims or guarantees. Wait, hold on. Solicitation outside business. Wait, did we read that right? Hold on. 8.2. Like, that's 8.2, right? What? I don't know about all that. But for me, I would complete the assignment and ask for a higher travel fee. Period. That's next time. Because once you agree to it, you agree to it. Unless the print fee, that's the only thing you can really negotiate after that point. Because anything after, now it's 200 But anything after 175 for me, you got to add a travel fee. Select the best answer. A notary signing agent wants to stand out from other NSAs by guaranteeing bars and contracting companies that all of their loan signings would take 30 minutes or less. This is permissible unless it's not stated as a guarantee, permissible under notary signing agent code of conduct, prohibited under 
the sign agent code of conduct. I'm going to say it's prohibited because even though you can't conduct a signing in that time, you really, that's nothing you should boast about because each signing you're supposed to give it at least an hour. I'm not going to lie, an hour. And you have, you don't want to rush them unless a signer asks me like, Hey, um, how long is this going to take? It really varies on them. If they got questions, if they feel comfortable, now, if it's an inspired loan, that one eleven, okay, y'all know what I'm talking about. Those who don't know, those who know know. So, hey, you can do it in that time, but false and misleading claims again. Don't do that. Uh, that's prohibited. Next. A notary signing agent decides to expand his business by offering new services with respect services period pause <laughs> with respect to advertising and the nsa should avoid sending out flyers to other nsa neighborhoods creating his own website pitching the services to borrowers so i'm going to say it's b because you're not supposed to be pitching nothing to the borrowers you dare to collect the loan closing hold on for Okay, so I I say you don't pitch services to borrowers. Um, you you got you can create a website and you could I guess send it to others, but we're gonna see eight six. What eight six say? No signage would not directly or solicit signing for products other than notary signing or notary public appointments to provide services is written verbal. See, okay, exactly. Next, select the best answer. A notary signing agent creates a new advertisement on Yelp and uses the phrase on time 24 7. Is that allowed? Is that allowed? No, because it's uh, it's an exaggerated claim. 8 2. Yep. Appropriate attire to wear to a long um, sign in assignment is determined by the contracting company, the notary code of conduct, or the borrower. It is the code of conduct. Okay, we dress business casual. Uh, no, op no, no open toe shoes, no scripper shoes, no clogs, <laughs> uh, Crocs. Please not. Okay, you can do maybe the dude shoes. I like those, but. Yeah, select the best answer. Upon arrival to meet the borrowers for a signing appointment, a notary signing agent must present business license, business cards, government issue ID, or photograph. I would say government ID, but I have a badge, and I think that's in the group as well. I got mine from, I forgot, but I'll, I'll put the link down in the description. And what I did was I... um put it it's a badge and it got notary got my picture on it because when i have closings that's outside of the office that's in public and we don't know who each other are who yeah we don't know who each other is so we see notary on my badge they know it's me so we're gonna go to 914 just to make sure the notary signing present a government issue id there you go anything else is just like this is common sense i just want y'all to make we will make sure. A notary signing agent and a borrower have finished signing documents, and all that is left to wrap up an appointment is to check the documents for errors. But the notary signing agent has already late for the next appointment. What should she do? What would you do? I'm telling you right now, you better check those documents for error and call the next borrower and let them know. Leave immediately and check the documents for errors when you, he or she gets home. Leave immediately and trust that all documents are signed correctly. I would uh, check my documents for errors first because if there are errors and you already left, at that point, you are losing money and you have already lost money. So we're going to go to 913. What they say 913? Notice our agent will notify the signer contract check now, providing the sign at least 30 minutes prior to schedule appointment. Will arrive at the appointment due to traffic, commercial, or any other. See, just call them. 
This is communication business. You know, nobody's not going to treat your head out. When should the signing agent determine if the date and time of the signing appointment are set and ask about any additional stipulations? During the initial phone call to the bar, during the initial phone call from the contracting company, after reading the closing disclosure. What? The closing instructions. Let's see what they're talking about. We're going to go 9-6. The notary assignment will thoroughly review the requirements and expectation for the given assignment, noting in particular what stipulate documents and payments the notary signing must receive from the signer and what documents and copies the NSA must leave with that individual. What that mean? What that mean? <laughs> the, what? <laughs> Expectations given to the assignment, nothing in particular, what stipulated documents and payments. We're going to go with the, uh, uh, I would say during the initial call from the contracting company, I would say, I don't know. When should the signing agent determine if the date and time of the signing appointment are set and ask about any additional stipulations? No. I don't, it's weirding me out. We don't say out to the contracting company because you get a call from them. This, uh, when confirming an appointment to sign documents with the bar, a notary signing agent should answer the questions the bar has about the loan terms. Remind the bar that payment is expected when services are rendered. Confirm acceptable identification will be fit present. And it's to make sure your ID will be present. Okay, just like when I do it, I just um, please have two forms of ID ready and I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you. That's exactly what I say. I'm going to go 9, 10 just to make sure. Appointment co uh, confirmation. We'll confer an appointment closing documents. Parties, witnesses, documents, ID cards, checks available. Yep. That's what it is. You talking about you better pay me when I'm done. <laughs> That's B. <laughs> All right, the contracting company sends instructions to the NSA before the eight first assignments. It details the dress code. The agent will be required to follow when working for the company. The best response for the agent will be look for another contracting company that's less stringent with its dress codes. Assure them that the agent always dress appropriately for the occasion as the agency's fit. Dress in conformance with the company's requirements. I will go with the company requirements because if you want that business, if they're not asking for nothing too much, uh, why not? And what we're going to see what they say, 912. Notary signing will dress for an assignment in a manner that conforms with the business requirements of the contracting company. Told you. Next. Select the best answer. A signing indicates the address stated in the closing document is incorrect. The lender's representative confirms the mistaken address is. The mistaken address in the documents and authorized the signer to correct the address. Based on this confirmation, the agent may have the signer correct the documents. Not alter the documents and should request new documents be drawn. No alter documents without first calling the contract company for permission. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> uh, we going to have the signer correct the documents because it was said. Which of the following documents contain both monthly payment amount and breakdown principal interest taxes and insurance? Payment letter, deed of trust, borrower certification, or authorization. The deed of trust does not have that. They do. No, they don't. The deed of trust does not have that. They have the initial. They don't have the taxes and stuff. Um, the borrower certification and authorization just certifies that they indeed apply for a loan with Penny Mac and authorize the release of any information needed to help execute the loan, such as yada da da da. So it'll be the payment letter. 
because it'll say, this is your first payment letter. This is a breakdown of your payment and also your loan terms. Please sign and date to acknowledge. Which document represents the borrower's promise to repay the loan? Compliance agreement, note, or mortgage? I'm going to let y'all answer this in the chat. We're going to see. We're going to go to the note. So we're going to go to the definition. There you go. That's the note. And that's exactly what it is. The promise to pay. Uh, which document authorizes the lender obtain copies of the borrower's tax return? The W-9, the 4506-T form, or the Form 1040? The W-9 form, just confirming that this is your social. If so, please sign a date to acknowledge. 4506-T form, authorize the lender to pull these three years of your tax transcript. And the 1040 form is also for them to pull transcripts for 1040. But we're going to go with 4506-T. References, boo yow. Select the answer. The final printed version of the loan application is referred to as a lender's application form. Note, uniform residential loan application. That would be C, just to make sure. We're almost done, y'all. The notice of right to cancel form in is the borrower's notice of right to cancel the transaction within three business days, three calendar days, three days of the closing. It will be three business days. Well, it is three business days. We have three business days to cancel. Uh, which document must the borrower receive at least three days before the signing appointment? The notice to write to cancel, closing disclosure, mortgage deed of trust. It's not the mortgage deed of trust because we have that that has to be recorded. And it's not the notice to write to cancel because we haven't gotten there to sign anything to cancel. So it would be the closing disclosure. Okay. Which type of loan uses the HUD one in place of a closing disclosure? From everything that I've saw, it was a reverse mortgage. Okay, so we're going to go to 315 because that's the only time I've ever seen that. And I don't do a lot of reverse. I'm going to let you know. 315. Wait, where did that come from? What is 315 at? What did it say? That's in, I don't know, but we're going to say reverse mortgage because <laughs> this is the last one. Providing and recording documents are performed by the closing agent, certified signing agent, the loan agent. So who y'all think give us the documents? Providing and recording the documents. Definitions three. Let's go. I say it's the closing agent, but what y'all say? We're going to go to three. Put three in. The closing agent told you, bing, bing. we got it. So let's see if we pass. Woo, thank you, baby Jesus. So we got 84.4. We got seven wrong. So we we going to go back and, well, not we, but I, I, I did enough. And um, if I would have just went out at the bottom, it don't tell you which ones we got wrong. Don't worry. But hey. We got it. We got an 84. So I hope this helped. Um, if so, please like, share, and subscribe. And um, don't forget to, if you need loan documents, go on my website, www.milescourtvs.com. And don't forget to join the group. And we're trying to have a little event a networking event for our new signing agent newbies. I haven't had a mixer in a long time, so I'm considering that. And you can put your um, thoughts below. But until next time, guys. <laughs>